Hey, this is my first time trying something exactly like this, but <clears throat> this is the flashlight that I was talking about uh, last night when I showed the part inside. Uh, it is a Streamlight Ultra Stinger LED. Um, apparently it's one of the same models that some uh, part of the um, some police forces use. Um, and I was curious last night to see if I could account for some of the cost in the build. Uh, it is not a cheap flashlight. And uh, took part of it, took it apart, and was not at all surprised at what I found. Um, so, battery is accessed through here. There's the battery. Oh, hold on. There's the battery. My Galaxy S8 for scale. Um, so it's quite large. Then, taking off the tube, it holds the battery. That is the tube that holds the battery. Uh, you can see how thick the walls on it are. And these knurlings, I don't know what you call them, provide incredible grip. I mean, it's, uh, they're not terribly comfortable, but incredibly grippy. And then look at that thread depth. Um, some of the review sites that I read for this had uh, police officers talking about using this fight, using this um, flashlight as to help with pins and locks in struggles with suspects, and I can believe it. So here's the head of the flashlight. It's unscrew this. Here's the part that we looked at earlier uh, on my Facebook page. Um, but this is all one internal unit. Those are the charging points. This is a rechargeable flashlight, obviously. This is all one quite solid unit. Um, this is the head of the light holding the lens and stuff. Um, most flashlights you'd expect that I've seen, there's just really a reflector. Um, this has an actual lens on it. So that's what hold that's the head of the flashlight. And that is just ridiculous. But this is the lens that focuses the light. This is basically a solid hunk of plastic. <coughs> uh, it's and there's an O-ring there for some reason. Um, it's probably a watertight seal somewhere. Um, <laughs> just it's absolutely ridiculous this thing. <laughs> Um, continuing with the ridiculous, this is the screw on for the cover at the nose, or at the front of the light. I'm used to th these parts of flashlights being pretty flimsy plastic, but as you can tell here, the last thing that is, is flimsy plastic. Um, near as I can tell, this flashlight should be practically indestructible, which, uh, I think is pretty cool. Um... So let me get the flashlight together real quick. And part of me is a little concerned about having a uh, real genius, should have checked your optics were clean moment, but <clears throat> wash my hands, so it should be okay. So let's get this whole thing back together. <laughs> squeak, squeak, squeak. Alright. This is, does it say what this thing is? This is a... Uh, no, oh. 6 volt, 2.6 amp hour. Um... 
So it's a 2,600 milliamp hour battery, which is fairly insane. Put the back on, and as you can tell, just it is stupid bright. Um, press and hold, and it changes brightness levels down to something that's almost reasonable. And uh, some of the sites that I read uh, specifically suggested before talking to people at an accident or something like that, turn it down to its lowest setting so you don't blind them. Uh, it also has a strobe that they specifically say is designed for disorienting people, so be careful where you point it. And yes, uh, that's quite badly freaking out the camera. It's also freaking out my eyes a little. So, all in all, uh, expensive flashlight, but in my mind, quite worth it. Um, and uh, it's nice. One of the downsides to it, uh, I will have to admit, is <laughs> that's the charger for it. Um, it doesn't have a place to plug in a cord on here. It slides into this thing. Um, but it locks in really securely. And um, there are mounting points for it, so you can mount it on a wall or something. Um, but yeah, that's really my, the only thing that I'm not thrilled about with it is just, um, that's the charging point. So, what is nice is it comes with 12 volt for, um, uh, like, on running off a car battery, or that is a USB plug. So you can plug it, char plug this into a USB charging port, um, and charge the light that way, which is actually what I'm doing. So, works pretty well. All right. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, if I get another flashlight that's like this, I may do another. Thanks.